We move Siobhan from victim to perp. Along with her brother, Bo Miller, AKA Clayton Farnsworth, forgery and fraud. You know, I talked to North Carolina, nothing but a petty con artist. He uh, works the beach tourists in the summer, home improvement scams in the off season. Married to Patricia Ann Miller. The bloody print we found on the adjoining door we thought was Ramsey's. Lab ran it against elimination prints. It's Patricia Ann's. So what was she doing there? Why risk contaminating the crime scene? To make it look like one. She trashed the place. Not to mention our phony desk clerk, Kyle Kivlihan. AKA Terry Wilde, Michael Berkman. Who we now know to be Bo Miller's second cousin. Which also makes him Siobhan's cousin. Yes. One big happy family of grifters. Thorpe is the mark. Let's get arrest warrants for the Miller family. Better call children's services, there's a four-year-old. And you know, Thorpe would rather pay than having us drag three handcuffed suspects through his family-friendly lobby. We won't be taking them in the hotel. Excuse me, we haven't connected all the dots yet. Who's left? Ramsey. He's not a Miller, he's not from North Carolina. How does he fit in? We're here to pick up a check. Bo Miller, regarding Chiffon. Mr. Miller's here to see you. Mr. Miller? My uh, supervisor actually needs to handle transactions of this magnitude. Come with me. I can take your little girl to our daycare facility if you'd like. This won't take long, will it? Uh, we need to go over some delicate issues that might be best. All right. Now, Mom, I'll be back in just a second, and I want you to go with a nice lady. Okay? Okay. Mr. Mayfield, these are the Millers. Oh, thank you, Tupper. You can go. Welcome. Oh, please, I can't tell you how glad I am to be putting this unpleasant situation behind us. You just need to sign these. <clears throat> it is a detailed uh, account of the event as you related to us. And we get that check today? Uh, unless you want to drop the claim. We're done in here. What, what is this? You're under arrest for conspiracy, extortion, and grand larceny. No one say anything without lawyers. Nothing, Siobhan. I don't understand. What'd they do? Why don't you tell me more about your dead parents? They're alive and doing time investment scams, wasn't it? Uh, I, I was ashamed. That's why I said they were dead. Are you ashamed of your age, too? Because we know you're 23, not 17. And we know you participated in this. Bo made me. You don't know what they put me through. I, I didn't know what to do. Please. You're good. But I've been taken by better. No. I want a deal. My cousin Kyle's job was to get inside. Once he was, he bumped to confirm reservation and got us in. So how's Ramsey related to you? He's not. We found him on a sex offender's registry. The sex was consensual. We set him up. And uh, beating you to a pulp was what, foreplay? That was Patty Ann. She came in after he left. It hurt like hell. But she did a damn good job. I mean, that's pretty much it. Timed it so I got downstairs right in the middle of the opening. And then Kyle was in place to stop me just before I hit the press. Why? Wouldn't that have made a stronger civil suit? Oh, maybe, but those take years. I mean, we knew Thorpe would pay to keep it quiet. You know, and gag money pays real quick. You'll have to allocute to all of this when you plead guilty. Testify against all the other players. You're looking at probation. What was going through your mind when you were taking that beating? I was going to spend all that money. Did she get the deal? Yeah. She admit to being the ringling? Four separate interviews, one common thread. Siobhan set this up. The original scam was planned with the parents. Once they got pinched, she needed a replacement family, so she calls up her long-lost brother. Who to hear him tell it had to be browbeaten into making the jump into the big time? And then she gets probation? Well, I'll tell you, it gets worse. She set Ramsey up. Now, we got to call corrections, have him produced and released. 
guarantee you he's looking at another 24 hours before he makes it through the red tape. Then we need to put a rush on it. Bo made sure the police and the hospital documented the rape, and then he waited for them to arrest Ramsey and find out he was a convicted rapist. And as soon as they did, Bo began the con. That's about it. Are the people satisfied? Miss Cabot? Uh, could Miss Miller elaborate on how Russell Ramsey was enrolled in the scam? Well, that's covered on the agreement, right? Right. Uh, we just looked on the internet for a sex offender. I mean, they got a whole website with pictures and M.O.s. And, I mean, I picked Ramsey because he wasn't as gross as the others. I mean, he didn't look dangerous, and he liked him young. How did you go about seducing him? Our cousin Kyle was the advance man. I mean, he followed him around a few days and got his schedule down, and then I just showed up at his bar. I gave him the duplicate room key that Kyle had made, and I told him when to be in my room. Well, the plan hinged on Ramsey showing up. How could you be certain he would? Well, he's an ex-con with a loser job who likes young girls. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Still, something could have gone wrong. I would have plan B'd it. What is plan B? Honey, no man passes up free sex. Siobhan Miller. You have entered a change of plea from not guilty to guilty. Are you pleading guilty because you are, in fact, guilty of the charges? Yes, Your Honor. Given your lifelong vocation of flim flamming, this court is loath to put you on the stand of your co-conspirators' trials. However, since your plea seems acceptable to the DA, this court will sentence you to five years probation. What are you doing? I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed watching you hang yourself. What? What? We had a deal. You can't go back on it. Russell Ramsey was attacked at Rikers. He was beaten and raped. He was killed. Your false allegation put him there. Under the law, you're responsible for his death. Manslaughter, it ain't covered under your deal, sweetheart. 